Sometimes medications will come in different forms. They can either be straight solution in a vial of medication, or they come as a powdered substance, okay, that needs to be reconstituted with a different type of dilution or sterile, or a sterile saline or a sterile water, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate how to reconstitute a medication. I have two sealed vials here, which tells me I don't need to clean the tops once I open them, but I need to make sure and realize that those tops are sterile. When I look at this syringe or this medication label right here, it tells me the dose that I want and how much quantity of dilutant I need to add to get that dose, okay? Let's say we need, we're going to give half the dose here, just, and I'll tell you why later. We want to inject a smaller quantity in this. We don't wanna give it in two doses, okay? So I need to reconstitute this with three milliliters of solution. So I'm gonna take the lids off of my vials and I'm gonna choose an appropriate size syringe. Now, if I have to reconstitute with three milliliters of solution, I'm probably going to end up with a quantity slightly larger than that. So I need to choose an appropriate syringe. I'm probably not gonna choose a three milliliter syringe. I want a five milliliter just to have a little extra space in that syringe, okay? And I'm going to be giving this as an intramuscular injection. So my length of needle needs to be anywhere from one inch to one and a half inch length. And it needs to be thick enough to withstand um, a deeper injection. So for this one, I am going to choose a, let's choose a 22 gauge one inch, okay? Okay, so first things first, I'm going to attach my needle to my syringe. Needle with the Lurlock tip making sure that I'm choosing a needle that's compatible with the Lurlock tip, which most of them are that you're gonna find in facilities. And I attach, screw that on all the way, okay? This needle looks a little different, doesn't it? This has a safety feature on it, okay? So when I unsheath this needle and I give the injection, I click this over and cover that needle. So for now, it stays right there, okay? So, I have my liquid medication that I'm gonna drop three milliliters of solution and inject into my powder to reconstitute. So first I unsheath. I draw up three milliliters of air. You also can do that before you unsheath your needle as well. Inject my air and draw up three milliliters of solution. Now, if you do this slowly, you don't get as many bubbles. You'll see if I pull down really fast, more bubbles appear. So just be patient when drying up solution. If you get some bubbles in there, you can flick them out. And three mils. So, out of there. Now, I don't need to inject air into this because I'm injecting solution. Be patient with this. Don't force this solution in. you'll feel the pushback from the vial because of the pressure. So when all that fluid's in there, I like to keep my needle in there because as many times that I have to take out and reaccess this vial, it's just a possibility of contaminant. So if you secure your vial with your three fingers here and your syringe with these fingers, you can just kind of agitate this solution, okay? And you're just looking to see when all of the little particles have broken up and it's dissolved completely. It varies on medication. Some are pretty quick and some take a couple minutes. So, once I'm satisfied and I look like this is pretty dissolved, I'm now going to re-inject that air to get my pressure right. And invert, when you invert, make sure the tip of your needle is down in the solution or else you're just going to be pulling back air. So once that's down in the solution, you can actually kind of just let go and it will pull it in itself. And you just very carefully have to make sure that you're keeping that bevel or that needle tip in the solution to get out all of the medication. Okay, so I'm pretty happy. I've got out all of my medication. I have a little bit of air in there. Um, I can kind of inject that back. I wanna be very careful to keep all that medicine in that I can. Um, I can, if you're giving an IM injection, it's okay to have a little teeny air bubble. You just wanna make sure to get all the medication. Okay, so that is in, and I'm going to pull my solution out. 
So little teeny air bubble, I'm gonna push that out slowly. Okay, so I need to go in and give this to my patient. I recap and I'm ready to go.